or something, damn it. When you're dating, you have to ask those different questions like, or you gotta go that extra mile just to see how they respond. Like, started watching P Valley and I was like, I wish I could watch it with you. You know. You just gotta go, you know, you gotta jump out there just to see how they respond. Because you wanna know how attractive a person is to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, on what level also, because you want to know what to put energy towards or what to put, take energy away from. You know what I'm saying? Like, I take um, getting to know somebody very seriously, but I just take it as light as a, you know, first communication, you know, a first conversation, not communication. But I pay attention to all of that because... Every, to me, on my side, I feel like every sentence count, every word count, how many times I text count, how many times I call count, um, and it all really depends, matters on how much the person is attracted to me, because I can call a million times if I want to, if the person is that attracted to me, what you know what I'm saying, but th- that ain't the norm these days, it's usually... <laughs> I'm my twin all in my mouth <laughs> but it's you this gonna be her in the future though she's gonna be more professional about it though um I'm gonna make sure of it but like you just want to make sure that you know you're reading the signs right like if a person is very quick to respond or if they're very late to respond you know what I'm saying and I'm going to be honest, if you're dealing with an air sign, don't look too deep into it. <laughs> if you look fucking with a water sign or earth sign, look deep into it. And a fire sign. Everybody but an air sign because of the simple fact, air signs are overthinking. That's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. These signs are the overthinkers. They're the intellectuals. They are the communicators. They're getting thoughts all the time, vibes of what they should do and say. So, yeah. 